The Aircraft and AMP Systems Testing Establishment is a unit of the Indian Air Force that evaluates aircraft and systems for induction into user organizations. Most new aircraft types and major airborne systems must have a SDE's stamp of approval to be considered fit for service in India. While many countries have testing facilities of one kind or the other, training of flight test personnel is not often imparted in them. ASDE's Air Force Test Pilots School is only the fifth such institution in the world. History since India's independence the IAF has been actively involved in defending territorial boundaries. In 1948 the IAF acquired its first jet fighter type the de Havilland Vampire, and the aircraft testing unit was raised under the command of WGCDRH Mulgar Uka to accept and test these aircraft. By the early 1950s IAF felt the need to expand its aircraft holdings. The aging fleet of vampires, two funnies and mysterious were required to be upgraded and eventually replaced, to meet fresh challenges. Indian aviation industry, in the form of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, was already being provided highly skilled pilots by IAF for flight test duties. Anticipating the need for an indigenous flight testing capability, and to launch flight testing in India, India on a formal footing. IAF sent two pilots to the Empire Test Pilots School in October 1949. These pilots were followed by several others in succeeding years and they formed the core group in the establishment of the Aircraft and Armament Testing Unit Kanpur, a precursor to ASDE. On 9 December 1970, keeping pace with its expanding field of activity, the commanding officer's post at AMP Atu was further upgraded to Group Captain, and Group Captain Kapil Bhargava VM was appointed to fill this prestigious slot. The next two years saw an increase in avionics systems trials like IFFV, UHF sets, gun sights, FR cameras etc. In addition to armament and airframe testing, the unit's role was growing and on 23 August 1972 ANAMP-ATU was reorganized as Aircraft and Systems Testing Establishment. In 1984, two offices of ASDE, WGCDR Ravish Milhotna and Squadron LDR Rakesh Sharma achieved celebrity status when they were selected to undergo training for the Indo-Soviet Joint Space Venture. On 3 April 1984, Squadron LDR Rakesh Sharma was launched into space in a Soyuz T-11 along with his Soviet counterparts. His Excellency Drive APJ, Abdul Kalam, the President of India, presented the Presidential Standard to ASDE on 21 November 2005. Flight Evaluations Indian Air Force test pilots, along with a flight test engineer, were killed when the second prototype Saras aircraft crashed and caught fire in an open field near Bangalore. A court of inquiry found that wrong engine relight drills given to the pilots caused the crash. The year 1957 brought further challenges to A and AMP ATU in the form of NAT evaluation. NAT aircraft had not yet been fully evaluated in UK when the task of evaluating this compact fighter for tropical conditions was assigned to ANAMP ATU. ANAMP ATU geared up to meet this new task by setting up various sections and flight test instrumentation laboratories. Within next three months, many test handling sorties were flown and a detailed report, the first of many full-fledged reports generated by the unit was submitted to the government. After the NAT evaluation, the unit was busy with trials on Vampire, Mystere and Hunter aircraft in 19. 
1961, a team from Boscombe Down, UK, arrived for tropical trials on the Saunders Row P-53C scout helicopter, giving an amp out of its first exposure to rotary wing testing. Trials on a de Havilland Canada are soon followed, adding transport flying expertise to the repertoire. The next major evaluation for an amp atom came up in 1964. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Bangalore had developed the first indigenous fighter aircraft HF-24 Marit which was to be evaluated. In 1964, an amp atom also carried out trials on Krishak aircraft. The late 1960s were productive years for the indigenous aviation industry, and AMP ATA was tasked with preview and evaluation trials for HJT-16 Hindustan Jet Trainer, Indian variants of Alouette Helicopter, Chetak and Cheetah, and Marit Developmental Test Program. In addition, the unit carried out trials on HS-748 medium transport aircraft, which was the after inducted into IF, Jaguar aircraft were inducted into IF in 1980. Along with it came technology transfer and a license for manufacture in India. Allen ASTE once more became the center stage for developmental trials on advanced avionics, low-end electronic systems like the radio altimeter, VHF communication sets and other instruments. During November 1980, Air Commodore P. Singh, the commandant of ASTE, led an IAF delegation to France for evaluation of Mirage 2000. In the next year SEMDEP Singh led yet another delegation to the USSR for evaluation and acquisition of MiG-27 and MiG-23 aircraft. In the same year, WGCDRP Rajkumar, WGCDRP Rabin Fit LTAM Escalon completed flight evaluation of the N-32. This aircraft was to become the backbone of IAF's tactical transport operations from then on. Crest The ASTE Crest shows a futuristic aircraft carrying guided weapons ringed by an ellipse. A slide rule is superimposed on the fuselage of the aircraft. The slide rule portrays precision and accuracy needed during flight testing. It also signifies the aspects of technical knowledge and training involved in producing test pilots and test engineers. The missiles represent armament that forms the major preoccupation of ASTE as a defense services establishment. The ring portrays significant aspects of the role of ASTE. First of all, it depicts the sighting ring of a gun sight, which symbolizes not only the involvement of ASTE with armament, but also its concern for constant vigil on correct aims and objectives. Secondly, it symbolizes the aiming circles provided on the ground targets as seen from the air and signifies the need for accuracy of results to be obtained. During flight testing, the crest also symbolizes the aspirations and ambitions of ASTE in involving itself with the country's future plans in the realm of aerospace. The words aircraft and systems testing establishment and Indian Air Force are inscribed on the roundel in a light blue background. The Ashik stamp heads the crest and laurel leaves surround the crest. The motto printed on the crest, Sukhsham Trivamatkash, means precision and excellence, two invariable and steadfast goals to which ASDE aims. In everything it does, commandants, 